<laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. We're here again. We're here again. We're joined with our first recurring guest, Miles Matthews. Crowd goes wild. <sighs> <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, shit. How's the life of Miles Matthews been? Dude, it's been busy as shit. That's good. Yeah. You uh you spent the summer in Alaska. Yeah. I think I think the last time we had you on the pod, I was right before you went to Alaska. Yeah, it was. How was that? It was really long. It felt like a lifetime. This was like the weirdest Alaska seasonal work I've ever done. Have you done more? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I've done I, like three seasons up there. Oh, I, I got kicked out. I got kicked off an island for jerking off on the on Facebook. I told you guys that one, yeah? No, I think so. I, yeah, I, I think I did. Really? I, I had to. <laughs> one of the seasonal jobs, I got like kicked off eight days into the job because I jerked off all over their Facebook page. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's no way I haven't told you this. I've never heard this. Are you serious? I'm not fucking with you. I oh swear to God. Oh my God. That was like the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, so you were they you like posted it on their Facebook page? No, I got scammed. I got like I thought I was like hitting up a cam girl, but it was like some Mongolian dude that was just filming me jerk off. What? Really? Yeah, well No, you're it? making this up. That's crazy. I'm I'm a hundred percent. Can we find this somewhere? No, 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 I've I've looked for the video of me jerking off at least just because I wanted it, but um I wish someone was smart enough to screen record it or something, but um no, I was like, so you go up, it's remote island, so it's reduced internet. And so they tell you, like, I was like 22. I was like young and stupid. They tell you when, like, in their onboarding process, they're like, bring your own entertainment because there's no internet or it's limited internet. You can't watch videos or anything. So I didn't think to pre download porn. I didn't even think about porn. Honestly, I was, I was not worried about it, but I got like eight days in and I'm like, I feel awful. And I was like, Oh yeah, I haven't busted a nut in like two weeks. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got to hit a jerk I'm right now. I'm going to die. And so after like three hours of trying to jerk off to like fire emblem on my game boy, I was like, I need something. <laughs> and like the chef was like, Oh, we made it a week in. I get to like FaceTime my husband tonight. And I was like, Oh, we get a FaceTime? And then she's like, You get a FaceTime once a week. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna use mine for. So ha- so what was the strategy with who you were gonna no, so video I, call? I was already friends with like cam girls, like people I knew in real life. And I had just gotten added by a bunch of people from Alaska. So my like mutual friends were like blowing up. And I had some random like European chick hit me up. She's like an Italian college student, and Italian co-ed dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was that like, sounds fucking. It was awesome. It was cool. Wait, so you <laughs> didn't do like the hold up a fork and two fingers in your other hand? Like, Not test smart it? enough. This was like ten years ago. It was like eight years ago. But yeah, you. I mean, you were like twenty three. I was twenty two. Yeah, eight years ago. I was dumb as fuck. And also, Dang. I was just like. I will totally pay you to jerk off right now. Like I'll, I'll do it. I don't care. I'll all. do anything. So man. when she, how did you didn't see the person on the other side of the cam? Yeah, I did. Yeah. How, how did he, does this guy have a lady there with him? No, it's he was like, like recording a video. Or like it's screen sharing a it's video. It's pre-recorded. And he's like screen sharing it to you. Basically it, but over FaceTime. So it just looks like I'm FaceTiming someone. But this person's not talking back. Yeah, they're talking, kind of. But like, okay, with so, an a heavy accent. Yeah, yeah but I would have like, been like, I would have been like, he's commentating on it as you're watching. What, it. Like, really this is my favorite part. I, like, like really specific questions. Like, I what size shoe like, do you wear? And I, then it's like, <laughs> yes, baby, I'm good today. Want to want to see my yeah, pussy? Exactly. It's like, no, no, no I want to see. I want to know what I size shoes like, you wear. Play rock paper scissors with me right now. Yeah. or I'm gonna. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Rock paper scissors. Definitely should have done that. And then it's like, yes, baby, your cock does look good. <laughs> but no. Like, no no that's not rock paper or scissors lady so like as soon as i pull my dick out she's like show me your dick show show me your dick it's so, up there, there's just a mirrored video of me on like a 10 second loop loop of like showing my cock 
And then he's like, all right, so listen to me really quickly. Don't panic, but like, I need you to give me $890 right now, or I'm going to put this all over your Facebook. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. And like, you're logged on like, to their Facebook. No, I'm on my Facebook. Like, okay, so then how does it get to their Facebook? So as soon as the first day we were on the island, the manager lined everyone up took a picture of all of us on the dock. I was like, here's this season's crew tagged everyone on Facebook in a post. Uh-huh. And in that post, just a link to me jerking off. <laughs> like, cause I got tagged. So he just in. commented on the link yeah. or on the so photo, the link. He just machine gun blasted that link through my Facebook page on your wall. On, comments of friends posts anything i was tagged in <laughs> there's a video of me jerking off in the comments so how many people do you think saw this video? everyone i know really everyone i know did did your did your hog look good yeah i think it, i was doing okay yeah, yeah. yeah so like, it, like it's not super embar- it's like you hunched over like what? breathing like, heavily into no, a no, webcam no, no, no. I, I mean it wasn't it definitely wasn't flattering <laughs> fair uh, i think i whipped it too in the vid which is a good move by the way i mean that's just vascular or dude a, a cool a cool, <laughs> a cool the cock the flex too <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. a cool move the dick like magic trick and it's not like it's a very long video because they like they get it quick and flip it and yeah uh, i didn't even get a calm either it was just a bummer but, yeah, um, you should have been like all right dude i was like turn the lady back turn on. The, i was like i'll give you the money in just a minute <laughs> but this is an emergency bust so though. i'm guessing you didn't pay him no, I was like, well, I was also like, everyone on my Facebook has already seen me jerk off. I don't care. Well, what I'm the, guessing, what he, the which fuck is not true. T- I mean, that's not true. But like, oh, a, okay. a lot he of them posted have, it like, because you didn't pay. Yeah, oh. and it, and I was being a dick. I was like, fuck you, pussy. I was like, hey, that's that's like literally a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the oh, first. Okay. Isn't it the pilot? Yeah, Black Mirror yeah, yeah, episode. Yeah. That's a great episode. The kid. Yeah. No, no, no. Isn't it the the politician and he has to fuck the pig on live TV? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. There's another one that's also a blackmail, like the kid, the child pedophile. For some reason, when you said blackmail, I was thinking that you meant that the actor was a black, black male, and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> the guy was like British, white guy. <laughs> But yeah, that episode is like I forgot what they threatened him with. Don't panic. But they were <laughs> they were saying like uh, if oh, you nice. if you don't yeah. fuck this pig on camera, we are gonna like ruin something. And they were gonna kill the queen. Well, they, yeah, that's oh, what it damn. was. That's crazy. I would just be like, kill that. Yeah, bitch. kill the kill the queen. Give I've me. said this a million times before. I don't care what member of my family it is. <laughs> if someone like puts a gun to their head and is like, you have to do something crazy right now. I'm gonna kill him. It's like. I love them, but they're gone. They're already. Dead. I'm. I'm not gonna do some. I'm not gonna let some guy butt fuck me to save my sister. Yeah, okay. Like, ma'am, you're. Go- I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll give head for like a hundred grand, probably. But that is, <laughs> that's what scammers are doing now. By the way, they they get they, enough. They're gonna kill your sister. No, <laughs> they <laughs> they get enough audio from someone that they can AI generate their voice. And they'll put you on the phone with your mom. And she'll be like, please give him the money. <laughs> please, Tyler, please give him the money. And you'll be like, mom, wait, no. And they'll be like, you'll have, you know. Well, it dep- I'd be like, mom, what are we talking here? 1500 bucks? I got you. Anything more. It's like, I'd- well, you shouldn't do any because it's not her. It's some fucking just AI generated. Mom, before they shoot you, how much am I going to inherit? Real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really yeah. don't know the number, mom. You got to tell me right now. <laughs> Because that's really going to play a factor. Do I get the beach house? <laughs> you think I have a fucking... My family has a oh, beach house? No, dude. We have cabins. Yeah. That's a joke, too. We, it's, actually, it's actually a double wide out in the woods somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking six foot by six foot A-frame. Isn't this BLM land? Like, yeah. I don't think you could build here. <laughs> have you seen the guy that lives like out in the woods and built his own shelter and he's like a rapper and basketball player. Yeah, that guy's badass. Yeah, the guy, he's a little out of his mind and he's playing a character which makes it more uh, digestible, but he's have you seen this guy, Miles? No. He's just like this like skinny fucking dumb white guy and his whole thing is like he just made a structure out in the woods. He, now he's doing it on someone's property that's allowing him to do it, but before oh, okay. he was on like national forest land. Oh, and, and he, he kicked him out. He I set think I up. Did see something he set up like just that. like a hoop on a tree, and his whole thing is like, "I'm gonna survive the winter in this little shelter I built." And yeah. I'm a rapper, and I'm recording an album out here. Jesus Christ! And I'm just like draining threes. How does woods. he get 
the electricity out there? How, like, how does he keep his camera charged? He, That's what I solar, want to know. Solar? Yeah. yeah. I, Damn. Do you not watch any YouTube videos of like people who live in their van? Eh. No, what? I'm addicted to that. You have a van. You haven't looked into this at all? I'm not a van life guy. We should convert your van. I'm going to sell. I think I'm going to get a nicer Sprinter van. That'd be sweet. Like a City Pro. A cage in the back. And then we'll we'll convert that. Yeah. You can start doing road gigs. Government auction. You can cuddle up in a twin in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if, if you and I spent more than one night in a van, we'd have to burn that thing. It would stink so <laughs> bad. Really bad dude. Dude, yeah. Me and you snoring and farting in a fucking concealed space. Yeah. That would be... Dude, yeah. it'd be hazardous waste. It'd be bad. <laughs> Someone with like a special Bio license hazard. would have to haul that thing off. <laughs> Even just being in a hotel room with like another giant person. It's yeah. just like... Because I'm in a snore and fart. If there's another person snoring and farting, the neighbor's going to call. Yeah, For me sure. and Nate Ford in a van overnight would be crazy. Let's make it even crazier. Me, you, and Nate. <laughs> Let's just keep adding fat wife. <laughs> Who's going to be the middle spoon? Um, oh, it can't be me. Why not? I'm going to get fucking wrecked. <laughs> it's got to be I'll, Nate Ford just because he's so he's the. Shortest. He's just going to let us do whatever. Well, he's yeah. going to weigh it down in the middle, and everybody's going to. Like sleeping on a trampoline, like everybody's yeah. gonna slope into him. Yeah, uh, you are. I actually don't even know if Nate Ford snores that loud. He's slept here at my house before. I don't think I've heard him. With Nate Ford before. That's wild. What? I've never slept anywhere with Nate Ford before. Well, I didn't sleep with him. He slept right here where you're sitting. That's pretty close. I slept in my bedroom. You, had a, yeah. you guys had a slumber party? And <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have too much to drink. Dude. <laughs> Braid each other's beards. and <laughs> He doesn't yeah, drunk drive for once. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Don't, dude put, don't put our boy out there like that. I'm just, I was fucking around. He doesn't anyways. I uh, <laughs> Yeah, totally lied about that. Um, I just joke. Going to work at 1 a.m. in downtown, walking into work, I, I run into people on the streets, just like drunk, pissed drunk, just fucking Ian, Jack, just like random people. Mm-hmm. Just fucking perusing. Yeah, go, yeah it, bouncing between Mulligans and 10th. And Where's Guru? It's right above 10th Street. Like a, like the bar. Yeah. It's oh, up, above 10th Street Station. It's upstairs from Oh, 10th really? Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to 10th Street Station a million times. I had no idea Guru Donuts was right there. Yeah, it's, it's right above it. That's crazy. I had no fucking clue. How are you liking the uh, donut life? It's easy as fuck. Yep. Yeah. You, so I've, I've eaten donuts that you've made before. And I, I doubt Guru gives you the uh, ability to... Creative freedom. Yeah, the creative freedom. It's part of his contract. Is yeah. It's final uh, creative say. We'll get there, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to get there. They want me to head their baking program, so they want to start selling bread out the back. Really? So Black I think market it, bread. Yeah, just to, just like <laughs> I guess wholesale. Did like, you just expose their fucking <laughs> underground bread business? Here's the thing: uh, like I have such a hard time giving a fuck about a paycheck that like <laughs> there's nothing sacred to me. Like how how, how do See, I need to learn more of this because, like, I've always had a stable job and I've always been very worried about, like, having money coming in. Yeah. How do you just not give a fuck? You just, is it just unemployment or you just, how do you not pay your bills or how do you pay your bills while not giving a fuck about a paycheck? Like, I'm pretty, like, financially negligent, but I do always have money. Like, I'm not going to... He's he's not living alone in a nice apartment. Like he's living with a girlfriend. He's splitting costs, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't live even alone. when I'm not. I'm like, I live with my cat. Yeah, well, sweet bee. Yeah, sweet boy. He needs to fucking get a job then. Yeah, dude, I got him on only pause, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, monetize. This guy loves this showing shit. his butthole, dude. He walks around <laughs> with his tail in the air. I just follow him with a camera. <laughs> Sell it to whatever you call people who like cats. Paw files. Now that's punny, it's bro. Just furries, dude. Now Beast, that's, bestiality. Now that's punny. <laughs> Beast, yeah, but what do you call those people? Bestiality is the act. What do you call the person? I guess it's beastophile? Bestiophile? A bestiophile sounds sick. That sounds like someone who loves the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Have I told you guys about the Big Bun thing? Uh-uh. No, but I'd love to hear about it. Do you know? Do you guys eat at Big Bun ever? Never even heard of it. It's a local burger place. They're okay. They're fine. Is that right um, at the base of Bogus? 
There's one on Overland. That's the one I know of. Okay. Um, they have ice cream cones for your dogs. Uh huh. And they have like a little poster in their window. And it says, if you take a picture of your dog with an ice cream cone and like tweet it at us with the hashtag Big Bun Furry Friends, you'll get a free ice cream. What the, so they're trying to like attract more furries? They have no idea what furries are. Oh, so this is just like some nice old Christian family or yeah, they're like, family. Yeah, they're the tag your furry friends. Big Bun is the name of the place, and your furry little friends with their they have little, no idea. They the have in, no the idea. innuendos that they're doing. No, that's fucking awesome. It's, it's we incredible. gotta look and see what's on that hashtag I've already. Checked. It's yeah. it's wholesome. We should oh. we should. Yeah. <laughs> ruin that hashtag yeah, we, we should we, parade we, them with like should. furry porn yeah we should get like a bowl drop have it you, on furry reddit yeah. have you seen the movie zootopia yeah have you seen that movie awesome fucking movie jason bateman i love that movie it there was like emails leaked i think a couple years after it came out of like with bob Iger in the emails like saying like we are trying to target furries like we're gonna make these animals That's awesome. sexy yeah, the like, bunny. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna make these animals hot, and we are trying to like, get the furries <laughs> on our team here. That's awesome. It yeah. worked. Is it? Is it a Disney movie? Right? No, I think it's DreamWorks. Oh, is it DreamWorks? Or no, it's the same guys who did. Uh... Well, then it's not Bob Iger. It's whoever is on their board, and I'm fucking up the. I names, heard it's but... not called Zootopia, and that's like a Mandela effect. Oh, what is it that's called? For, it's for sure called Zootopia. That's what everyone was saying, but then like they that's pulled like it the up. Bernstein it's like Bears Zoopoly. Yeah, it's like something really close to Zootopia, but it's yeah, not. It's uh, it's called Zootopia. Are you sure? Let me see this shit. Zootopia, brother. All right, all right. People just say fucking anything on the I goddamn would, internet. I mean, right? how old is this bunny supposed to be in the movie? She's a cop. She's an adult <laughs> cop, right? She's grown. <laughs> yeah. I'd give it to this little bunny, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. It's a, it's a sexy little bunny. They got I mean, I'm not even a fur, and they got me. I'm down. Yeah, I fuck most animated things, I think. <laughs> the most animated things. So so what's the uh what's the update on the hentai pod? We're I think we have like a nice schedule that we can both do it now, which was kind of the big issue before. Dude, sorry to interrupt. They have a live action like furry version of the bunny, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Ah, dude, <laughs> that's it. That's not a good one to one. Like it's close enough, dude. I don't know. It's close enough. <laughs> Looks like a Chuck E. Cheese mask. Don't up. don't do that. She's got nice hips, dude. We're all good. Does it's she? Close enough. She got the fucking dump truck. Yeah, she got a little bit of gut too. We'll look past that. <laughs> so oh God, back to, back to the hentai uh, podcast update. Sorry, excuse my misogyny. I think it's gonna be called. Doki Doki Bust Club. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it mean? What do you mean? What's Doki mean? I have no idea. There's a, a game, right? Like a dating sim called yeah, Doki Doki. Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so it's like a play on words of something that already exists. Yeah. Okay. And that game's actually like it's a it's like a really cool game. It's dark. Um it's also like the balls on Japanese people to be like, we're going to make like a pedophile simulator. Uh -huh. And then everybody kills themselves in the end. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really, that's what that is. It's a wild game. It's like, it's actually like a psychological thriller almost instead of a dating. It's like painted as a dating sim, but it's a psychological thriller. Also huge in Japan for some reason, dating sims. Yeah. They love it. And, psychological thrillers yeah japan and korea make some sick psychological Yonder. thriller movies deep What's blue that, old boy what old boy have you seen that movie mm -hmm. i don't think so they did an american version of it and josh berlin was in it and it's just not as good as the asian version but sick movie it's it's the most fucked up twisted movie i've ever seen in my life japan does some wild shit I, I can't remember if it's a Korean movie or a Japanese movie. And not because I can't tell them apart, but because I just oh. artistically sometimes can't tell the difference. I, I've probably asked you this before. Are you a sub or a dub guy? I don't watch anime. Okay. Well, never mind. At all? Yeah, no, that's that's gay. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind. No, I only jerk off to anime. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I guess. You are just full of mysteries. Uh, um... <laughs> 
I, I watch mean, not, a little bit of anime. I don't have time to watch anime. Yeah, there are a fucking million episodes of each show. But Blue-Eyed Samurai, the one that just came out on Netflix. CGI? No, it's it's anime. Blue-Eyed Samurai. It's not it CGI? No, no, no. Okay. Well, yeah, it's like cartoon. It's good, though. It's very good. It's like an amazing storyline. Action's cool. It's like people getting their heads chopped off. And Netflix they, they, original? They show a woman's breasts on it. Nice. Netflix original, yeah. Just came out like a month ago. Sometimes they pop off. Me and Ali have been watching uh, the Castlevania anime. That's not... That's American anime. Yeah. And well, I, the, the I think it's... The Blue-Eyed Samurai is also American anime. Um, Castlevania, I think, is one of the best shows made. It's really fucking good, dude. Yeah. You're getting through the first season... I think I'm through the first one. We're in the like halfway through the second season. Okay, cool. The second season was good. Third, I think there's only three seasons of the first Castlevania. I think there's five. And then there's like the spinoff. Unless they lump it all together on the like Netflix catalog. No, I think the this one they just came out with is its own thing. Okay. It's still Castlevania, but yeah. it's like a whole different thing. I thought there was only three seasons. I could have read it wrong, but I thought that it said five. That's why I was excited. Either it's way, like, the whole show is fucking amazing. Something to binge watch, yeah. Dude, the It's so violent. The voice acting, the character design, the fucking sex in it is actually really cool there's barely any but when it when it happens it's really cool (laughs) as well well done i not a bad sex scene pisses me off so fucking badly what what makes it bad like the way the way they're fucking or it's not believable like yeah camera angles lighting it's vanilla one of them's black (laughs) <laughs> okay, I mean, like the example I was gonna pull up. They both lost. There is a black guy in it. The one, the, the one that I was gonna reference is a bad one. Does have a black guy in it, but it's so aggravating. The show True Blood. Do you know that show? Yeah, that was actually best sex scenes ever. I used to hate on that show so hard because my mom loved it, it's and so I was like good. a kid when it came out, and I would be like, "Mom, it's just this fucking gap tooth lady." getting yeah. fucked by a bunch of vampires yeah, i don't want to yeah, watch this with yeah. you and then i went back and watched it such a fucking banger jason stackhouse fucks like an animal yeah he fucks like a superhero that's, that's how a, you, you'd expect like a vampire to fuck yeah it's incredible like, and he's not even a vampire he's just some dude yeah like an immortal <laughs> fucking per- like but like it's a vampire show yeah yeah I, I definitely mixed him up with somebody right well, there, Well, they do, too. like, edit... They do, like, special effects for their sex scenes. Yeah. Because, like, the vampires, like, can move really quickly. So, they, like... They do, like, <laughs> such camera blur, Yeah, too. they'll like, just be, like... Like, the, <laughs> yeah. the vampires will be, like, just fucking the shit out of people, like, doing super speed. It's, just, it's awesome. It's a great idea, whoever thought of it. It's, it's a great incredible. Show. Yeah. But then you have... There's this fucking... I, I think it's Marvel... Netflix started doing Marvel shows. It was like Jessica Jones. Yes, and, uh, Jessica Jones was great. No, it was. I love David Tennant. That's why I watched it. I hated it. Really? When she, I like that character. Who's the, um, the Invincible guy? Oh, Luke Cage. No, 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 no. The black one. That's Luke Cage. Luke, is it? Yeah. Okay, I was just thinking of black the, guy who wears a yellow shirt. Yeah, it's yeah, like your okay, normal guy okay. in Harlem. When they fuck, it. I shut it off and never turn it back. She's on. also very awkward, although she is very attractive. They both have super strength. Yeah. They're both like superhumans. Correct. And they fuck in the most boring vanilla way I've ever seen. Well, yeah. I mean, they both probably can't really fuck normal people, probably. You know how hard it is probably to fuck a normal person. Exactly. Super so when they fuck each other, it should be like. Luke Cage is not fucking. Pogs or like petite little white women, dude. He, he should have picked her them. up and jerked off with her body like a like a pocket pussy. Or yeah, like but done, this is Netflix. Do a backflip. They're still having sex on camera. Like yeah, they're not gonna fucking make it for your weird enjoyment. <laughs> they should do it for someone's enjoyment. Also, nobody likes that shit. <laughs> I, I I do. Nobody agree liked the it. sex scene wasn't stellar, but like fucking awful. You probably do need quite a bit of stimulation to get off if you're somebody who watches hentai. I, I, you know don't crazy, get me wrong. Dude? I'm not a fucking weirdo who jerks off the cartoons, dude. So I, I don't understand how your brain works. I'm not one of these like anti-masturbation people or anything. I actually I don't watch anti that often. 
But it, it has become like a part of your like everything I know is a lie. Yeah, it's almost like a research thing <laughs> at this point where like Michelle will send me things to read. Michelle, start sending me things if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, uh, Whoever you are, don't know. Whoever that is, send me stuff. <laughs> you know what? Come over. We can watch it together. <laughs> For research purposes, because I'm going to be a guest on on Dorky Dorky Come Slut. What is it? Yeah, that's uh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> what is it? Dorky Dorky Come Slut. Uh, <laughs> Doki Doki. What is it called? It's not a final. I like but, the name, but uh, I just it's Doki a Doki Doki Bus Club. Doki Doki Bus Club. I like the name. I just forgot what it was, and we'll I didn't see. mean to say Dorky. I meant to say Doki, dorky, and I fucking dorky misspoke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I would love to be a guest. Yeah, you definitely yeah, we'll get you on. Yeah, because I'm I'm holding out. I still haven't watched Hentai. That's awesome. I would love to click on one of these like Marge Simpson hentai it's videos. Not- it's <laughs> like what do you mean it's not hentai? It's a cartoon character. First of all, fucked. I haven't seen one of those ads in like ten years. You're not beating off enough, brother. <laughs> You're not going to the sites I'm going to. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm on, I'm on, Wild. I'm on the web, dude, the deep web. Watch, you think I'm on porno, brother? No, I could send you, I could send you some cool stuff. I guess. I mean, like, because there's a but, lot of shit out there. There's but I want to watch stuff. it like day of the pod. Like, okay. I want to be fresh off a of jerk. Yeah, coming to do this with you. Yeah, because we gotta have a clear head. We we're definitely yeah. gonna be doing like rate your orgasm. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm was trying this to any good. I'm trying all? to hit a jerk that day. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, because yeah. I don't, I don't want to like think back and have like ten jerks in between this jerk. Yeah, yeah. You want to be? I want to be f- like fresh minded. For yeah. like, if, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna take. Uh, last night, my friend's mom. It was her birthday, and we threw like a murder mystery party. I dressed up for it. Like, if I'm gonna in, like indulge into something, I'm going for it. Yeah. Like, I dressed up like a old fucking cow. It was like a New Mexico murder at a motel. Jesus. So I dressed up as like a fucking. Dirty fucking looking cowboy that would kill somebody. <laughs> a lot of turquoise. It was a full Canadian tuxedo <laughs> with a cowboy Damn. hat, aviators. Bolo? I, I wish I could bolo. If I bolo, you can't see it. Oh, the yeah. The beard would just cover. That's the same. Yeah, I, I used to bow tie. I can't bow tie. Anymore. Yeah, the whole point of the bolo is like what's on the bolo, not the strings. I need to start doing like a beard split <laughs> just to have just to wear a bow tie. <laughs> you should. You should like gel it. It would look like shit. You'd look like a fucking Jim Carrey character Fire with your beard bender. like crazy like that. You put the bow in your beard, like Ooh, right under your chin. Ooh, that would be cool. Tie it into your beard. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I like that. What do you jerk off to? Uh, <laughs> I like to close my eyes and just picture. Yeah, you're an imagination guy. Yeah. What, what do you picture? Girlfriend's um, mom? No. It's just scenarios. I don't want to go friends. into too much detail on this one. That's no, um, it's mostly my girlfriend. I'm just like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That's the gayest thing I've You ever live heard. with your girlfriend, and when she's not around, you close your eyes and think about her and jerk off. I <laughs> love her very much. You're the gayest fucking person I've ever met, dude. <laughs> that or it's almost like meditative. I know people that have sex with men, and you're gayer than them. No, that's cool. I was doing that up in Alaska, but... but like, that was out of necessity. You had to. Yeah. Well, it was also out of like just... But don't like, get me wrong. Like I missed my wife. Every, yeah, everyone hits a memory jerk every now and then. I mean, I don't have anyone in my life that cares about me, but I have people that I've cared about, and sure. I hit memory jerks for them. Yeah, sure. But I I only really do it in the shower too. So it's I'm not going to bring electronics. I'm not going to waterproof my iPad to put on the okay. wall or whatever. That's efficient. Yeah. Using an <laughs> iPad in general is <laughs> creepy behavior. Phones are fine. Yeah, you don't need a bigger screen than the phone. My girlfriend mentioned something about my computer the other day. She's like, "Oh, how much porn do you watch on that?" Zero. I don't think I've ever watched. I would porn be on a computer. upset if anyone looked up porn on my computer. Yeah, by the time I was like habitually jerking off, I had a cell phone. Yeah. Like, I mean, when I was a kid, I saw like boobs and shit on yeah, yeah. computers, but I wasn't like hitting jerks to computers. I probably had like five before I got a cell phone. Five computer jerks before. I yeah. Got- I, Using you know the what? family I'm, computer. Yeah, well, I think my, I'm gonna go sit in my office and hit a computer jerk after this. Dude. My stepdad did a uh, like audio engineering, and so he had like a recording studio. He had like you got the hi fi's on. Yeah, he him. had like five <laughs> computers that I defiled. <laughs> <laughs> hentai too. Yeah, I, was, I started. started hentai. Did you guys have like the family computer when you were a kid? Like one computer in the house, and yeah. everyone used it. Mm-hmm. So it's like. 
ooh, everyone's gone. I'm going to like run into mom and dad's room and fucking get this one off. I no, I respect the family computer too much to do that. I'm not going to come on the computer. Well, no. What's wrong with you? I'm a prude. I'm scared. What the hell? Dude, you're gay. You're gay. Uh, a little you're bit. Gay, yeah, dude. Just a little bit. You're yeah. gay. Fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to make you gay too. That's why I keep kissing you on the lips. Dude, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's <laughs> no. a I, good I, I, I'll, I'll kiss all you on the lips. I don't care. I am so secure with who I am sexually. <laughs> like I know I'm so straight. Honestly, I'll dude, there's a church all the boys. in Boise that does gay conversion therapy. Like, like pray the gay away shit. Yeah, God's will. I kind of want to sign up for it. We should go in as boyfriends. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah, let's go undercover that would brother. That so fucking let's, fun. Let's go buy those Ray-Bans that have cameras in them and go pray the gay away together. Dude, how crazy would it be? It'd be so fun. If in the middle of it, like the Holy Ghost got a hold of me and I had to like start taking your pants off and trying to jerk you off yeah. like while they're making... And you have to like fight me off of get, you. Get even crazier. We try and fuck... The, the guy. guy? The guy, yeah. We we're, go like, look. That's Nico's joke. That's We're trying to gay the prey away now. Well, yeah, we're doing something funny. <laughs> so <laughs> No, I, I'm talking about sexually assaulting a man. <laughs> I'm talking about... I mean, that, that might be something Nico does too. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that would be a great joke if he wanted to do that. Yeah. But Nico yeah, fuck what if we, like, we tried to convince him? We were like, look, we feel like it worked. I feel like you prayed the gay out of me. Yeah. But I feel like if we just had one more yeah. good fuck, we, we'd be done forever. Yeah, we can't do it to each other because then so, we're going to fall back in love. So we're going to hold you down. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get... <laughs> At first, we got to try and convince him. We have to give it a college try. We'll give him, yeah, we'll give him the option because he will probably be down. Before we rape him. He'd be like, oh, that's actually our standard procedure is yeah. after we get the gay out of you, I have to I have to suck the gay out of you. It's like <laughs> the final process is me sucking the gay out of you with a prayer in my heart. Honestly, at that point, what if he's now fucking with us <laughs> to see how far we go? It's just, and it's like, are you going to let me suck you off, dude? I know you guys are two straight guys fucking with me. Are you going to let me suck you off? <laughs> I'd let him. <laughs> I'd have a I'd have a false tooth with a blue chew in it like ah, it's go time. False tooth. <laughs> time to fuck this priest, dude. Yeah, I say I say we go for it. I'm I'm super I wanna start doing more like sketch shit. Undercover yeah. camera shit? Yeah. Not well. I mean, this is undercover camera yeah. shit. This is not what I. But I, you always refer to this though, you because you talked about undercover stinging a. Uh, uh, a massage parlor. A massage but that's parlor. a sketch I want to do. I don't actually want to sting the, oh, the parlor. Okay. I don't want to bring down some poor Vietnamese family's <laughs> fucking operation, dude. I mean, they um, were human trafficked against their will, and like they don't have any idea. These are nice, honest Asian American business owners. So <laughs> some of them they deserve a hey, sex work is work, brother. They deserve <laughs> to make their money too. Okay, I'm not trying to take food out of anyone's mouth. Yeah, I guess so. So. I, mean, I wouldn't want to get anybody in trouble, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know snitch. But this, the sketch idea was that like the cop who is doing the sting operation gets to the point to where he's about to get jerked off, and then they're like, "We're about to come in." He's like, "Wait, wait, wait. let me let me get this," and he lets her hit the jerk on him, and then all the, like the other cops like come in and watch, and then they like, I, I haven't finished the ending yet, but like they either Jesus decide not Christ. to do it. Because they're like, dang, like this lady can can really get him off. She cranks hog. She cranks hog, <laughs> or they like go in mid crank. Fucking, yeah. I, I feel like it might be too close to the South Park episode. Oh, is there a South Park? I have not seen this. There's a yeah. The cop goes undercover because he finds out that like. Butters is like selling kisses on the playground. <laughs> he starts pimping out girls on the playground and the cops catch wind of it that there's a pimp in town. And so one of the cops goes undercover and starts pimping himself out to find who's buying the prostitutes. <laughs> but he like he fucks these dudes to completion and then arrests them. <laughs> <laughs> and he does it like to by the end of it he's like got a black boyfriend and like 
he so has it's not it. a massage parlor thing. No, it's no. It's okay. Not. So it's just undercover cop busting sex worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm far enough away from. Yeah, that. I've never seen that episode. It'd probably be good. I also just need to watch more South Park. It's what I did all summer. This There's summer. so much South Park. It's good for you. Yeah, it it's is. so good for you. It's, I haven't. It's really good. It's Daily so, dose. I need to watch the new movie. I've heard the new movie is very yeah, good. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, have you? No. I've heard it's very good. I haven't watched South Park since I was like 13 or 14. I did watch the latest Reno 911 movie. Any good? Oh. It's very it's it's exactly what you expect. It's not yeah. a good movie. Yeah. But it is very funny. And it's like the Reno 911 guys go undercover on a cruise, a QAnon cruise to find Q. <laughs> I, I saw that. Yeah. It was great. I had I had fun the whole time yeah. I watched it. It was a very yeah. fun thing. You know what's not fun? I went to a musical on Wednesday. That's not fun. What was playing? What? Hair. It's a, allegedly the most banned musical of all time. Not. By who? What does that even mean? That was like something that they were flaunting. They're like, we are... The most we're, we're performing the most banned musical of all time. It's like by Broadway, like one fucking street banned you, like across. Like I don't even know what that means. They're an edgy musical, but it wasn't even that fucking edgy. Like one lady showed side boob, a couple boys kissed, they said fuck. One guy showed his butt. Like it wasn't even that crazy. And I mean, I I don't have any like form of reference because I've never seen any other musicals besides Hamilton on TV. I'm, uh, which is just guys appropriating white culture. But, <laughs> but I was frustrated sitting there, and and no smut on the fucking people performing. Like the actors did great, singing was great, dancing was great. Like they were great performers. But it was just so bullshit sitting there. Like a storyline of a musical, is so bullshit. Like why are we breaking out in song right now? Yeah, musicals suck. It sucked. I also didn't know it was a musical. I thought I was just going to see a play. Yeah, that'll ruin it for you. Yeah, <laughs> it fucking blew. But yeah, I learned my lesson. Yeah, anytime someone starts singing at stand up, it kind of upsets me a little bit. Oh, you're finally on on my side here with this. I think everyone's been there. Uh, like No, I haven't I get so much pushback on this when I say that musical comedy is such fucking bullshit. It's bad. It's bad. I don't like If you need an <laughs> instrument on stage, you're not funny. Now don't get me wrong. There are people like Adam Sandler that use the instrument that are funny. But if you're in your first year of comedy so, and you're using you know. a fucking instrument as a crutch, you suck. It's like it just never makes me laugh. Like I'm, if it made me laugh, it'd be one thing. But like I'm Did you did you miss our slide whistle set, me and Allie? I did miss it, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> no, it was good. <laughs> yeah, it was I'm, fucking good. I bet it was, dude. <laughs> I love you. I bet it was. You guys are nice people. <laughs> that's my favorite thing when someone asks you like that comic it's like he, I mean, he's nice he's good he's, he's nice no he's not good he's nice nice guy but it's like if someone broke out bongos and started doing like slam poetry jokes i would walk out i bet you were not that far in this scene from that happening i i could absolutely you know what who's that fucking guy that shows up like twice a year with a accordion I forget oh, his name, but I know who you're, you're talking thinking about. of. Matthew Voorhees. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's a very funny person. Yeah, I it's I thought you were talking shit about him. He's very funny. No, uh, that's like the one thing that I've seen that I was like, oh wow, this is like yeah, a whole fucking. It's his whole set. Too. Yeah, but he's also kind of not a stand. Like he's a performer. Yeah, like mm -hmm. he's not like trying to like take stand up stage time from it. Like he's just like a guy who performs something cool. Like, it's funny because he's not trying hard. Yeah, it's closer to Bo Burnham, too, somehow, where it's like, I don't yeah. think of Bo Burnham as, like, a stand-up. Not anymore. I mean, he was, at one point, pretty committed to being a stand-up. I guess. But now he's, like, his own thing. Because he's not, he's not, like, a weird owl. He's not making funny music. Yeah. It's but he is making parody. funny music. Yeah, yeah. It's not parody, but yeah. it's, it is funny, and it is music, but, like, I don't know, Bo's his own thing. Like Adam Sandler, Bo Burnham, Steve Martin are kind of the outliers of that whole thing. Can I tell you my uh, my road rage story? Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. It happened like two, three hours ago now. Yeah. Coming back from Christmas shopping and I'm going to make a turn. I'm making a left-hand turn. The left-hand turn lane opens. So I turn my blinker on and I start getting over. But I see this truck behind me in my rear view just fucking blows by. So we got over in the turn lane too early and I fucking honk. And then I pull up behind him and uh, 
it's a woman's hand sticking out of the window on the driver's side, fucking flipping me off, yeah. fucking doing the chatter hands, you know, like talking hand. Yeah. And me and Allie are just fucking, fuck you, fucking piece of shit, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, and I'm just waiting. We're biding our time. Like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just fuck with this guy now. As soon as the light turns green, bah, fucking lay on the horn. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a level of pittiness that I appreciate. Yeah, yeah, that's good. They pull, they start pulling around, and they hang their head out the window. They're watching me, looking back at me, flipping me off while they're making the turn. It's a dude. Like, we saw the hand. I totally thought it was a woman's hand. It was so little and petite, sticking out of this was big... It, was it a little guy? He was, yeah. I mean, it was a big what, jacked up truck. What kind of truck was it? Uh, F-250, it was a, like, it was yeah, like, just like a big It was truck. a red F-250, the back window on the left side Did was knocked out. Did it have the out. double tires in the back? It, it wasn't a dually. Oh, okay, okay. But um, it was jacked up. And so he's riding slow now because I honked at him and I'm like, I'm fucking patient. I don't care. I'm going to just keep fucking with you the whole time. He tries to brake check me. And then he tries to speed off. And I'm just going the speed limit. We end up at the same stop sign this time. Jesus. And he creeps to a stop. And then I fucking lay on the horn again. Bah, fucking go. <laughs> and then he pulls around. And I'm following him down Hill Road. And we just keep so driving. So you're following him at this point? Well, I'm not like trying to. Oh, okay. Like I'm you going just, home. It's natural. Yeah. yeah. We're going the same way, and I'm a little nervous at one point of like, what if we're going to the same place? What if he's going to my house, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if this guy lives on my street? He lives right next to me. That yeah. would suck. And then uh, right before my turn, I fucking flash the brights at him, and he fucking slams on his brakes, and I make the turn, and we don't see him again. But we're just fucking, you know, so amped up. Jesus I knew he was getting out of the car to fight me, and he was so little. It's like it wouldn't he have been a opening problem. opening the door? Uh, he kept like doing oh, this shit. Like, like, come on. Yeah, yeah. And the my favorite part is, I didn't know that Allie's brights on her car has two levels, so I hit him with the first brights, and obviously it's bright enough in his mirror to catch his attention. And then I hit him with the second level of brights, and I'm like, that's like the fucking sun. Like I just blinded <laughs> this guy, and then we pull away. Luminous salt. It's fuck that guy and i was just fucking like, Ooh, i fucking... do you have melee weapons in your car no what about a gun no that's one of those encounters where i'm like i should probably carry you one of those if i'm gonna act like this like, when i was in high school <laughs> my friend had a bb gun spray painted black <laughs> that's and awesome. it was just a handgun and anytime someone would fuck with us in the car, he would he'd flash get, it. He'd get, he'd point it out the window at them and in shit. Idaho, in Twin Falls, yeah, that's in Idaho. Yeah, he's like he didn't get shot, dude. I mean, who else is gonna like? Yeah, there's I mean, a bunch of white retards in Idaho sure. that, or yeah, Twin yeah. Falls that itching to guns. fucking shoot someone. Itching to shoot somebody, yeah, dude. That's true. What did this guy look like? My friend that had the spray painted gun. Yeah, the like dweebiest like surfer white boy dang if he looked even an ounce mexican i bet you he would have gotten one dude yeah maybe he would have caught know. a bullet we were pretty scrappy i mean like people don't shoot that often in twin falls <laughs> like the cops i shoot. think in most places i'm saying if someone points a gun at you and you yeah. are a gun owner that's just been waiting your whole life for someone to break <laughs> yeah. into your home or yeah. point a gun at you on the road yeah those guys jump into like it's time baby i finally get to shoot something i'm finally they, shoot they go to bed thinking about it they're yeah. warm fuzzy thoughts yeah when they, when they put their gun on the, the nightstand yeah. Yeah. they're like yeah, my yeah. sweet prince i will one day use you <laughs> I, the might, I might already walk into this <laughs> they never get to use it though it's always like their toddler <laughs> like blowing yeah. their kneecaps <laughs> off or something. It's always i like, shot mommy it's always a six-year-old who finds their fucking gun <laughs> And they're like they're pissed because like someone died, but they're also jealous that like the child got to shoot someone <laughs> yeah. and not them. Fuck yeah! Can we uh, can we play a game? Yeah, are you just down to play a game? What kind of game? Okay, I want to play a game. I'm gonna give each of you five Christmas movies, and you're gonna rank them blindly. So I'm gonna give you a movie, and you're gonna give it one through five without knowing what's coming next. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Seuss's, we're going to go Miles first. Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. Jim Carrey? Animated. Five. Oh. I haven't okay. seen it, so five. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Two. That's high. That movie sucks. 
Yeah, I actually agree, but it's like a go. It's goaded. It, I hate that. Like when people yeah. give shit. Okay, but fair. It's I, I understand it. what you're doing. It's earned the two. It's yeah, the according favorite to of fucking fat Disney girls adults. and Cookie Monster Hot sweats. chicks love it. No, it's, it's mainly no. fat chicks who have like no, shitty no, color no, tattoos. No, no, I've yeah. never met someone who watches drawn night- on eyebrows that are too thin. Yeah, yeah I've never yeah, met someone yeah. with a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo that I would fuck. I know plenty. I and I'd fuck a lot. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> say. Um, okay, so you've got two and five. The Polar Express. Four. Wish it was five. Yep. So now you've got one and three. Yeah. A Christmas story. Three. Okay. A Medea Christmas. Uh, That's your number one. Number one. That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually okay with that list. I was just trying to set you up to where you would have to put (laughs) Medea Christmas number one. No, I dig it. I dig that. Okay. Are you ready, Parker? Yeah, I got a new list for me. I do. I do. I do. Fuck, I fucked it up. Christmas with the Cranks. Uh, Four. You never seen Christmas with the Cranks? No. It's a great movie. Um, Home Alone. Three. Oh, I think that's a go. That's a legit goaded movie. Uh, that's your nostalgia speaking. It's. I think. Yeah, it probably is. You might is. be too young for it. I I didn't see it until much later yeah, in my life. Okay. Yeah, I forget that you're you're a little baby. Um. So what do you have? You have uh, Christmas with the Cranks at four. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Home Alone at three. Home Alone at three. Bad Santa. Number one. Number one. That's a good ass Christmas movie. Is that is a good ass Christmas movie. Okay. Uh, Tim Allen's Santa Claus. <sighs> Number two. Number two. I so all you have two. left is five. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Elf. Yeah, I overwatched Elf, so I could put it at five comfortably. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Zoe Deschanel's in at five. It, I'm Will Ferrell at five. No, everybody at five. Neither. Some other notably <laughs> goaded Christmas movies, and you guys can debate me on this. Jingle all the way. I don't. You're too young for that one, probably mm-hmm. too. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. Oh, <laughs> wow! Uh, trust me, Parker. Get high and watch Jingle All the Way. It is a fucking amazing Christmas movie. It's just like a feel good movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger is trying to get his kid like the last. What's his name? Uh, the the it's a superhero doll. I was gonna say Scuba Steve, but that's fucking that's Mr. Bad, Deeds. Bad dad or, or bad yeah, yeah whatever. big daddy, whatever big it is. Daddy. And Sinbad plays a mailman who's also trying to get his kid the same doll. And so every time Arnold Schwarzenegger gets to a store, Sinbad gets there too. And they like fight over the doll. And then like they end up not getting it the whole movie. This sounds super familiar, but I don't remember the Sinbad part. Such a good fucking movie. Uh, The Night Before. uh, Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie, Joseph Gordon-Levitz. This is at the bottom of Santa's bag all you guys have movies. never seen the night before no that is an amazing christmas movie it's like their last hurrah of like doing christmas together as adults uh I mean, it's a seth rogan production so it's just like drugs and alcohol and fun yeah. uh deck the halls that's probably middle of the road for most people i think that's decent and then there was one more that i missed i lost it who's the guy that got fired from community uh not Joel McHale. No, the old man. Have, Super famous actor. Chevy I'm, Chase? Chevy Chase. He got fired from Community? I didn't yeah, know that. I think so. For what? He was naughty. Being a fucking asshole. Yeah, he's a naughty uh, dude. You know like, he's, he's tall? Yeah. Yeah, he's... Yeah. My whole life I thought Chevy Chase was like 5'4", and I saw a picture of him recently. He's like 6'2". No, yeah. He's huge. What? The, he did a Christmas movie... A super old one that's pretty good. Are you talking about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? No. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Are you sure? Yeah, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. With such classic lines as Shitter was full? No, that's a Christmas story. No. No, that's definitely Christmas Vacation. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, that is Christmas Vacation. You're correct. Oh, didn't I not say that? Oh, as one of the movies for... Did I not? I don't know. Oh. I thought you did. I saw I said Christmas Vacation. I didn't say the National Lampoon I hear part. Christmas Movie, and that's the first one that comes Christmas to mind. Christmas Vacation. Yeah. yeah. I think the National Lampoon is what threw Miles off. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely it, though. 
Yeah. Uh, I like that one. Honestly, Jim Carrey's Grinch. Sick. Number one. That's, oh, uh, what about Jim Carrey's Nightmare Before, or not Nightmare Before, what is it, with Scrooge? What? A Christmas Tale, A Christmas Story. Did Jim a Carrey Christmas do tale? a Christmas story? It was animated, so he did all the mocap, and he did Scrooge, he did all the ghosts of Christmas past, I don't present, and future. That. I don't remember. It was really good. That sounds dope. Yeah, that does sound one. dope. I love Jim Carrey so much. Yeah, I think... Getting, I haven't done this in a long time, but I used to like get home from drinking or like just staying home and just get hammered and then turn on a movie and then just like get engulfed in this movie. Like put my phone in the other room and just let like the alcohol or the mushrooms take over <laughs> and just like live inside this movie. You just watch Liar Liar. I did, <laughs> I did this with the Star Wars series where like okay, yeah. every weekend I'd go in like order, in chronological order. And are you guys Star Wars guys? Love it. May I? Yeah, go for it. The prequels are the best. Very And good. anyone who thinks the originals are the best can fucking suck my oh, dick yeah. from the back. I don't want to hear it. They suck. It's hard to watch shitty animation. Anything old with shitty CGI or like no CGI yeah. can fuck off. I hate people who are like, it's the artistry of like doing everything. Fuck off. I hate that. I was not expecting you to uh, attack puppets like that. That's it's so bullshit, dude. I want I want Jar Jar fucking Binks, bro. That I don't care for. That we don't need that. What but, the fuck? So what I I you like really superficial things in movies. Uh, it sounds like you're yeah. like yeah, I like when I, the I, I, I love like when the police car explodes. The I like original a Jurassic Michael Bay movie, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's good though. That's fine. Puppets. I don't think I don't think it sucks though. Like yeah, it, it doesn't take you out of it. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. But. What he's saying is like the fucking police car exploding, like a nice Michael Bay, like Transformers, like Dimlit Street, like uh, somebody talking in the background about what's about to happen. Then it happens. Light flare explosion, like <laughs> uh, panning side shot, another light flare, Shia LaBeouf, like looking around. <laughs> Bud That's, Light ad, Mountain Dew ad, those Sony movies, <laughs> Boombox ad. <laughs> those movies suck. Dude, they broke them down in like... It, it's like every four seconds, there's some sort of brand recognition thing. Oh, and sometimes it's like blatantly, blatantly obvious. like yeah. like uh, Mark Wahlberg drinking a Bud Light with the label out, like yeah, like shit like that. Yeah, or like in uh, the Iron Man movies, Tony Stark driving an Audi. Yeah, and like when he pulls up, it like he pulls up the camera is like the Audi screen is or the Audi logo is all that's in the camera. It's yeah. like, come on, dude. Yeah, no way, Tony Stark fucking richest man on the planet is driving a fucking audi <laughs> that's what they want that's what audi wants they want that's you to what feel audi like dude, fucking, the first I'm iron fucking man iron was so man, fucking good yeah iron man really 3 good. is also very good um he eats burger king in the first iron man at the end yes for his yeah when he gets out of <laughs> when he says i am iron man yeah. yeah that's a sick scene him in a sling yeah just like in like a suit that's not all the way like buttoned up and it's just like everyone wants to hear tony stark talk and he's like i just want a fucking cheeseburger dude uh, <laughs> he's like i'm iron man and this is a whopper yeah and i'm gonna eat it <laughs> Robert like, founding jr talked about that and said that burger king was like a turning point in his life where like when he was a drug addict and like in and out of jail he ate burger king and it was so bad that he was like, there's no way people can suck this badly and like really? just got his shit together after that. What the fuck? <laughs> his rock bottom was Burger King. Was King Burger King. King, like a bad Burger King, which I agree. Burger King is like an F tier fast food. It sucks. And they have a I couple can't... menu items that I could enjoy, but I agree with you. They're definitely, should we, should we, should we tier fast food right yeah, now? Yeah, we could. I'm always down. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the train here. Wendy's. S tier. S tier. S tier. Off the bat. Yeah. A tier. Okay. It's not, it's not that high. S A. I'm 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 down with S tier for Wendy's. It's S tier. Like what's better? McDonald's. S tier. It's goaded. I don't even care if it's like it sucks. This guy likes fast food, dude. He's gonna everything's an S tier except for <laughs> Give me Taco Bell. Give me Taco Bell. Taco Bell. S tier. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you started with the two best. Like Wendy's and McDonald's are goaded. It, yeah. Okay, go to, Jack in the Box. Go with the sauce. Go with the sauce. <laughs> Jack in the Box. D. D? I D. would put it in D. Okay. Jack in the Box, but it's the only thing open and you're hammered. 
S. S. Absolutely. <laughs> Best S, food in the bro. face of the earth. Okay. Uh, this is just a personal favorite. I don't even think it should be in here, but it's S tier for me. Del Taco. Like B. Uh, love Del Taco. C. Okay. Uh, yeah, C sounds fair. And we're going to do the two that probably get the most hype. In and out. S tier. Don't want to hear it. Never had it. Really? Never had it. You you are a disgusting Idaho scum, dude. You've never. I, I've never been to California. They have it in California, Oregon, Texas, Arizona, Utah. Utah yeah, I, I just, Oregon was my only option. I guess I never did it. I well, drove by it last night, and it was snaking don't, all the way out. Don't so do it evil. here right so now. Allie has an idea. She was saying we should do a fucking three part waiting in the in the line at Pot. in and out because it takes idea. three hours that's so we usually idea. do about an hour we could do hour one hour two hour three get our food in hour three and eat it and we be could like, go this isn't worth it <laughs> we could like go around and like get people to come get in the car and join us too yeah yeah be like hey random person meet us okay oh, the other the them. other one that take the van put the seats yeah, back in it yeah dude it's fucking <laughs> burn 150 yeah, dollars worth of gas waiting <laughs> get- <laughs> Yeah. Lure lure some people into the van. I've always wanted to lure someone into a van. I don't want to do anything to them. I just want to. I just want to see if I can get them in there. Come here, uh, Chick Fil A, S tier, uh, B plus, B plus. How I do think, you put fucking Wendy's over over Chick Fil A? I, I guess I'm putting Chick Fil A A tier because they hate gay people. Yeah, <laughs> you feel real strongly about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, um, they don't like weirdos who jerk off the cartoons. So you not, guys are fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not open on Sunday. That's stupid. They're mm, that's an issue. annoying. Yeah, that's and their chickens is like me. it's like I just don't give a fuck about chicken. I just don't care about chicken. Okay, CJ's, Carl's Juniors. Did you see? A, I love a fucking charbroiled. I'm, I'm going A. I I I couldn't tell you the last time I had a Carl's Junior burger. But when I do, oh my god, it just brings something out of me where it's like, fuck, I should eat this every day. This is yeah. amazing. I like how they That's scrape the grill and then they put the scrapings on your burger. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, but it's fucking gross, but it's so good. I, uh, and they're big. You get a big ass burger. You just made me think, you've probably never had Wiener Stencil before. Is that a place? You don't even dish? know what Wiener, do you know what Wiener Stencil is? Uh, are you trying to trap me into some gay no, shit? No, 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 You guys have no idea what Wiener Stencil is. No, Glory really. Hole's uh, totally... Uh, it's the inside of uh, a donut. Like, yeah, it's totally not a gay sex thing. Like, Wiener Schnitzel. You guys are fucking with me. No, yeah. I, Wiener Schnitzel is food. I don't believe either of you. But is that the name of... You can't the it's the name of a fast food place. Wiener I've never Schnitzel. Had it, no. I don't think they have any in Idaho. It is Sounds like fucking, mall food. Dude, it's fucking amazing. You can get like a chili dog, a corn dog. They even have like fries, burgers. Hmm. They have chili cheese fries. Like, dude, Wiener Schnitzel is a fucking A tier place. It is disgustingly greasy, and most people that go there are fucking white trash pieces of shit. But Wiener Schnitzel, I think we're getting one here. I think there's one being built. God, Boise's getting everything. Did you know that Boise has more restaurants per capita than anywhere else in the world other than Vegas? Wow. Is that true? I think so. A hungry That's people. Nuts. They all suck too. I was gonna like, say you think we have better God. food then. It's the not good. food here sucks balls. There are very few places that I have rave reviews about here. Yeah. Do you want do you want a place that I have rave reviews about? Yeah. Terry's Cafe over on Eagle and Fairview. Uh I have eaten there. Uh what do you think? I think it's amazing. It's I'm a with fucking you on that. amazing. Yes. It's I'm the best you. breakfast place in the valley. Diner yes. stuff? Diner stuff. Cool. Closes before two. Uh, yeah. They have a, a salmon omelet, like a smoked salmon omelet that's got like pimentos and cream cheese in it. And that's, that's gay. You keep getting no, gay. It's so fucking good, dude. You said smoked salmon omelet. Miles, you're a chef. What do you think about a smoked salmon omelet? Gay. Like salmon gravlax bagel, dope. What'd you say? <laughs> Salmon Gravlox? What's a Gravlox? It's sort of like a curing, but for fish. What? I've no, I've never heard of that word before. You like cover a fish in salt and whatever the fuck. See, you man, want. you don't, you don't have a refined palate enough. To... Never had salmon Gravlox. It's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. My palate is insufficient 
for oh. sure. I, I it's great for like whiskey. I'm like I'm <laughs> great with. I'm allergic to your cat, but she's so, <laughs> so, so I just keep petting her and then touching my eyeball, and now my eyeballs like exploding. If you call whiskey a girl one more time, you was a bitch. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> he get because at least he could still be a boy then. <laughs> look at dude, he looks like a boy. Your cat. He doesn't even look like a girl cat. He doesn't look like a cat. No, he doesn't. Where are we at, Parker? <laughs> We're at exactly an hour. Oh, really? I figured we would have been way more Mm-mm. in by now. Huh. You want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Fuck it. What else is going I'm on? feeling hot. feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. Tell I think that, something. dude, that coffee, I, like my nuts are tingling a little bit. I got to take a shit a little bit. Nice. Yeah? Tell me something, My eyeballs are vibrating. Keep talking. I'm going to grab my Zins. Actually. I haven't had any coffee in. Can you bring me more whiskey? Yeah, what do you want? Whatever. Uh, I haven't had co- I like quit coffee cold turkey. Really? Yeah. Well, give me your glass. Just because it was I'm tired of everything being so expensive all the time. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking paying <sighs> spending money for... on coffee sucks. I yeah. don't do that. So I'm like, I'm just gonna cut out coffee. It's the best part about Guru. I show up at 1 a.m. I get my shit going, and then just endless espresso. Yeah. I just lattes for like three hours. Mm-hmm. It's and there's cool. there's some about caffeine too. Like I, I don't know. Once you build a tolerance, you're like, yeah, whatever. I just use this to function. Basically, I've never really relied on it too heavily. I get like when I quit, I get headaches yeah. for a day. I, I'm a little grumpy. I got the grumps. <laughs> this is how I wake up and like get energized. <laughs> is I have like Gold Bond medicated body powder. <laughs> yep, and it's like menthol. The blue shit. Yeah, 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 I love yeah the blue that like teal with the red lid, mm-hmm. and I like fill my hand up with it and like clap my asshole, <laughs> and so from like my from my asshole to the tip of my dick is like menthol tingly. Absolutely, dude. And you just wake the fuck up. I never found a good way to like apply it though. Like I used to squat in the shower. And try and like shoot puffs of, <laughs> yeah. of gold bond into my ass. And yeah. I was like, is this how yeah, you're you supposed gotta, to do it? You gotta clap it. Yeah. Um, now, can't, you can't rub it or else it clumps up. Cool. No way. Yeah. That's that fucking 6K, dude. Hell yeah. Dang, dude. You're filming in 6K? Why? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's we, nuts. We could probably down tune that a little bit, right? For the. Or is that an option? Fucking. It's probably an option, yeah. Yeah, I could set it to whatever I want. At least for like the pod, we probably don't need. Well, I can delete the roast battle video. Did you ever post me and you? No. <laughs> he lost. He's not going to post that one. He still had some good jabs in there. That, dude, that was one of the best fucking roast battles of the entire thing. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. It was electric it was so crazy and then i think we i went up right after that and i was like yeah whatever like elvis just phoned it in like there's no way we can follow that all right we're back on video <sighs> all right should we clap again I, I, have, I have no idea no we're good we're just gonna keep this fucking thing rolling i had no idea that thing was off i wish there was a light on the front of it yeah Spend i was thinking about fucking that fucking money on this thing it should have a fucking light right on the front of it fucking well yeah so. miles you did beat me in a roast battle and then you proceeded to fucking have the worst roast battle I've ever seen. <laughs> Even worse than your first one. Yeah. I'm you, not good at it. You also, oh yeah, I brought this up to Parker actually. You're a fucking plagiarist. How? I've heard multiple people use this fantasy football joke. Really? Bum bum. Yeah. I checked it before I, I did it. I have I, I have heard it multiple times. I looked it up. Since then. And I think it was one of those things where it was like in the moment I was so impressed with it that I didn't like think of it. But I have for, and then also when you were battling Josh, you used homosexual. There's yeah. a very well known comedian who uses that really? term in a bit. I can't think of who. I it mean, is. like homosexual it might, is just a term. It might be Kyle Kinane. But essentially, what you said was a bit that a famous comedian has used sure? in a special. Swear to God. Honestly, I was a little <laughs> upset that the uh, fantasy football thing popped off so hard because it wasn't even like that wasn't the end of that bit. Like that was just a thing. Yeah. What was the end of the bit? Um, I know what it is, but say it. The, the most, only the only liberal part about you is your use of the N word. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 a that's a bit on its own. Yeah. You could have like used that and then. The fan, and then you would have had a I didn't, more secure. I win. didn't think the fantasy football thing was gonna pop off. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it is sometimes shit pops, so you don't think it's going to pop. But, like, that just worked so, in the room that night. That was nuts. Dude, you know what What really pisses me off? I, I keep having some bits that, like, I'll be churning around, and then, like, I'll see it on TikTok or something. Yeah, so like my my closer is a real story that happened in my real life and is not made up, but a famous comedian has it in one of their specials. And that's I had never seen this comedian live. They're not somebody that has like a ton of specials. Their first Netflix special, they have the joke very similar to what my closer is, and it's a real life experience that's happened to me. So I'm not gonna like take it out or change it. But it's like somebody could easily challenge me on like, hey, this sounds just like this person's bit. Huh. And it's like, you just stole this. And it, they would have a great argument for it. Well, there's so much there's so much stand up and like just content in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's like, yeah, it's not a stand up joke, but someone's doing it on TikTok or like it's like I was I was mulling around like a, I, I would live in a haunted house if it meant cheaper rent. I was like, that's an OK premise. Tyson Gusman was also doing something along those lines. And then I saw like eight TikToks. Yeah, I mean, it's of like just I, the same exact premise. I'm like, God damn, that's fucked. I gave Josh shit when he first started doing stand up because he was doing a 23 and me bit. And I was also at the time doing a 23 and me bit. And I was like, oh, that's cool that you like watch my comedy and then like do shit about what I do. And I was fucking with him and yeah. what. But it's like. He was like, I, I can't do a 23 me bit. It's like, obviously you can. I'm fucking with you. But like, yeah. there's only so many unique things. It's it's a very slanderous allegation to like throw in someone's face. Yeah, but like, I was doing Yeah, that's it. my bit. But. I was doing it jokingly to yeah. Josh. To Miles, I think he's a plagiarist. I think I think I think you're as bad as that's Dan fucking Clark. Lame. You should be you should be kicked out. This is a dumb fucking joke, anyways. Which one? The fantasy football. One. I thought that was a great joke. You, that's the only reason you beat me. I'm, but you are the also you're the only person to beat me so far. Oh, huh. so yeah. And I'm, all my other roasts have been fucking hot shit. I'm three and one against a guy who is literally <laughs> retarded against everyone else. <laughs> like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I was I worked so hard on the Chris. Uh, well, fucking what's his last name? Eric Cole. Uh huh. Um, you sucked. It, I sucked. The audience sucked. The audience did suck, but I like was, was sitting, I was was sitting right there. And I'm not you I I don't need the audience to laugh for me to think something's funny. I guess so. And I genuinely hated you in that moment because I love yeah. you and I think <laughs> you're one of the funniest fucking people I know. And was like, you are a disappointment to me right now. Dude, we absolutely blew the fuck up on the riff the next week, too. That was a fun me and you had so we had like two weeks of like electric chemistry on stage yeah at one point i was like are miles and i gonna fuck dude yeah it was <laughs> it was a little crazy where i was like damn dude we're just fucking killing we're it gonna fuck here. dude yeah that <laughs> was that was a very fun show of just like us bantering back and forth this isn't great podcasting because the people here yeah don't know nobody shit about cares the show that happened, i mean as if anything else we've talked about has mattered you can't me do christmas movies and hentai and road rage and i guess so yeah you having a Is fat that cock that mongolian guys exploit dude yeah, yeah we didn't even finish that we started there we, we didn't, you didn't finish that story it goes deeper I mean, I got kicked off the island. Oh, shit. We didn't finish the Did story. they just throw yeah. you in a dinghy? Why'd you let and us you keep going? Why don't you basically. Row yourself back to shore? No, no, no. Yeah. Like, I, so I hung up, ran downstairs looking for the manager whose uh, post it was commented in, trying to get to her. Wait, so he posted it. it on there while you were on the phone with him still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's savage. Yeah. He had it like that shit pulled up, like, oh, I'm going to yeah. press click right now. Yep. You're done. Yeah, I figured this was like a day later. No, no, no. This was all happening like second to second. Dude, these Mongolians go hard. (laughs) Really impressive. (laughs) Honestly, the fact that he was able to... He was screen capturing, projecting, editing, and uploading all at the same time. The dude was a wizard. That's nuts. um, But so I find the manager 
I'm running like around the whole island just looking for Dick's still out. <laughs> yeah, Dick's still out. <laughs> it's very funny to me picturing you running in like a frantic manner. Like it's very like Chris Farley on <laughs> SNL. Just like really, <laughs> really close to that. <laughs> but by the time I find her, I was like, hey, we need to talk. Oh, and it's she's a lady. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. She's like, yeah, we fucking do. What the hell, man? I was like, okay, I can, I can kind of explain. She's like, please, please explain but what's this isn't happening. your fault. <laughs> yeah, you got it, blackmailed. It, it 100% is my fault. Like I'm, it's your fault that you got. I'm fucking scammed. It's my by fault a, that I'm like a disabled person. Yeah, absolutely. But it's like, not your fault that you didn't know he's gonna post it on these people's fucking yeah, yeah feed. So she deleted it as soon as she got it, right? Sure. Um, but it was too late, and the owner of the island saw it. Oh shit, Epstein saw it? Epstein saw it. <laughs> yeah, Epstein saw it. Basically, I, I don't know who owns a fucking island, but he called her and was like, get that fucking guy off my island. And I was on a boat in like 45 minutes of hanging up that phone. By yourself? I mean, I wasn't driving the boat. No, just you and the captain. <laughs> yeah, and like, then and that would one be, of the guys. Dude, that's a great sketch. You getting kicked off for pedophilia <laughs> off this island. Whoa, what the fuck? It wasn't pedophilia. Was Correct. I'm, 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 I'm making things up on the fly right We're now. We're extrapolating like a little bit here. I'm punching up that, your story. Yeah, thanks for punching up that. That was a great punch up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Miles is working oh, no, off no, no, no. the pedophile actually, actually, no. actually, the sketch part of you 100% getting scammed right would be hilarious. The title of the video was misspe- everything was misspelled. Uh, I found out they do that just in case they do get their IP pulled and they do get caught. The misspelling, the amount of money they ask for is like $10 under a felony. Smart. Like it, they're fucking brilliant people. But, but it so was, it's you and the captain? Yeah. I, like, did he, was he like, hey, brother? He was like, dude, that's hey, we've crazy. all been there. Did he ask you what you did? <laughs> yeah. How small is this boat? Please tell me it's like a duffy. It's a, like, it was, it's a decent sized boat, but like I'm sitting next closed? to him. There's a, uh, there's a, so you're not sitting outside. He's cabin, like, yeah. yeah. So you're both in there. And what is I this? went and sat outside and just chain smoked cigarettes with one other dude that was helping <laughs> with luggage and stuff. What did, what did they ask you? Like, what'd you do? The dude that was with me that like just helping with luggage and stuff was out of his goddamn mind. He later in that season, they kicked him off because he had a mental break and was walking around the Island with a knife having like schizophrenic like meltdowns where he's like, you promised we wouldn't kill people and like was chasing people with a knife. The two people I know that habitually go and work in Alaska for the summer are you and Danny Monsoon. So it's checking out that only yeah, yeah like fucking, seasonal work yeah. like that yeah, is only, for, for crazy people. And I love tough. you, Danny, but only psychotic people go and do this it's, shit. It's, it is a lot. Yeah. I had uh, this last summer up there was shit. It took, it felt like I was there forever. Honestly, I was hanging out with hot college chicks all summer. So too. that was, I was about to ask you, if you weren't um, a devout, you know, married man. I mean, I'm still, I still fuck them. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just joking. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. I did see their tits, but like. Nice. Um, when they were like showering with your camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with monocle door yeah. slots. Yeah, with the hidden cameras um, you put in the bathroom. No, where I'm like embarrassingly like i'm embarrassingly good friends with them now that's tight that's cool like i still I, we talk t- at least twice a week as i get older i appreciate having like a good hot woman friend that i'm not trying to sleep with just so or, or like getting the perspective and just like some having, to bounce ideas off of yeah <laughs> it's awesome yeah i really do love that i've always had that most of my friends have been women. I have too, generally. but when I was younger, I would always try and fuck them, and I'd ruin it. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm older, and it's like, I just like appreciate having like a good friend that has like a completely different life than me. Like, a hot woman lives such a different life than I do. Yeah. And just like, hearing about the shit they go through is hilarious. Yeah. Like, getting to see them like, just constantly make men feel ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like such a fun life. The uh, breakfast chef got fired because he was trying to bang this chick but how was he d- okay how, like a what was she wearing would. <laughs> yeah <laughs> she was wearing her work uniform so was, she's also the owner's daughter well, so she's like th- the princess of fucking prince of wales that is absolutely off, um, off limits yeah usually, yeah the usually, owner's daughter usually shouldn't shit where you eat but if you're all in alaska and there's not much to pick from i guess yeah and no we're choice, all just but, living in these cabins that are lined up and shit it's yeah. like it's 
sketchy. So he was like getting weird. Yeah. Let me walk you back to your cabin. Yeah. They, he was literally like, we he should go on a walk on later. And like, like, let's go where nobody else is. Let's go into the forest. <laughs> yeah. Where Did no one can off? hear you scream. No. No, he got fired. Pretty she quick, actually. Like, she just like snitched on him like, hey, this guy creeped me out. Yeah, she was go. just like, hey, he won't stop trying. Was he good looking? No. Oh, that there you go. He was a Hawaiian dude. Go. He was like 5'3". Just the tiniest so BJ little boy. Heard he was trying yeah. to fuck this lady. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically. Dang, so many people are just catching strays right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love all of you. Sorry. Sorry. Shouldn't do that. Fucking hell. Yeah. You're lashing out. Yeah. Just having fun. <laughs> Dang, I'm really pissed at this camera. Fucking, I ran out of memory. I have two SD card slots in that thing, and I only put one in, too. We'll get an animator to... Yeah, we'll hire an animator, so that way our 37 viewers can fucking... (laughs) So what's the... uh, Never mind. I don't want to talk logistics on the podcast. Yeah, we'll do that later. The 3,700 people, I meant to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Sponsors. I'm not gonna lie, even that wouldn't be very much <laughs> for for where we're at right now. I, I guess be, so. Be yeah, huge. It's a good start. That's a and head start. Grand, yeah, we're not touching Joe Rogan, but like that's that's a that's an audience. If yeah, we're, yeah. For a greyhound dog, we're they're putting us up at the bend. Yeah, we're ready to go. If you could, I don't know what that if means. If you could make yeah. 3,700 come back every episode, yeah, that that's awesome. That would, that's the dream. The dream is four thousand people. I don't dream big, dude. <laughs> All right, yeah. I set my expectations. We're gonna very split forty dollars in that in the ad ad revenue. <laughs> yeah. You'd be lucky to get forty dollars out of four. four yeah, K I mean, movies. I'm I, at this point, I'm just hemorrhaging money. So yeah, yeah. That well, that's you know what I gotta do is I gotta awesome. upgrade everything. Then I'll get then we'll get the views. Yeah, kind yeah, of. We need though. six. We need six K yeah. footage. That's like my whole thought process in. about buying this and this whole setup. It was like, well, I got to, if I'm going to do it, I had never yeah, podcast before. Do, and I was like, it. if I'm going to do it, I got to do it. Right. <laughs> yeah. When, when Parker it. and I decided to do this, I was like, dude, I have mics and all this shit. And I, all I had was a laptop and two USB mics. And I was like, we can do this. And he showed up with a zoom recorder and like professional gear. And I was like, oh, let me just go put my laptop away. I'm a fucking <laughs> idiot for thinking <laughs> that I had gear. Like, <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, that's okay. So I like low budget. But well, they, no, we take we take professional audio and then I just butcher it in post. <laughs> I do. Don't edit it. I in. actually did watch a YouTube video yesterday to try and fix our audio because mm-hmm. I have gotten complaints from people that we have shitty audio. <laughs> so I think this episode will have good audio. Sweet. I think I know how to do it finally. I don't think I'm good at it, but I think I know enough to fix it. But I've listened in the car before, and it sounds okay. People have told me it's too quiet, which I fixed on the last episode. I don't know. Okay. I listened up in Alaska quite a bit t- to this podcast, uh-huh. and it felt fine. But I was just like sitting quietly in a cabin with earphones in. So like yeah. maybe I don't know. And maybe I'm just being overly critical. It's probably that's what led me to buy a, a 6K open gate camera. So I did pretty low budget streaming on Twitch for a while. I think, I think that's, Hypercam I number think, three. Like there's something that's romantic. actually why I started doing it. Kind yeah. of, I was like, I mean, I've already jerked off all over the internet. <laughs> like, what's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah. There's something romantic about like a shitty quality thing, though. I love it. Yeah. That's kind of why we want like no structure with this thing. We're not like trying to like do anything like crazy. It's just like we're just shooting. We the don't. Shit. We don't really introduce it at all. We just start recording. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah yeah. yeah. We should record a song and have. I mean, have some of the best podcasts ever have been that. So exactly, dude. That's what we are. I mean, none of us are. Nick we're the best Nolan. podcast ever. Thanks for saying that. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Okay, yeah, I was, um, we were in multiple people's <laughs> Spotify Wrapped as their number one podcast. That's crazy. Yeah, it was mainly like our retarded friends, but still, nonetheless, <laughs> the people who were only mom. listening to this one yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mostly just use Spotify to listen to fan noises, but I've been listening to Wolf Park lately. I think yeah. I'm going to watch Medea Christmas movie now. Who? The Medea Christmas movie. Oh, a Medea I've Christmas. Never um, sorry, this is a little off topic, but I'm thinking about movies. Do you like scary movies? Yeah, I love them. You like scary movies? They bore the fuck out of me. Okay, you're not going to like this one then. But the scariest movie I've ever seen, I watched the other night. Like, I'm not afraid of scary movies, typically. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's cute. I was watching it through my fucking fingers. And it's called Skinamarink. I've never even heard of this. Watch the trailer first to, like, build up the suspense for what it is. And then watch it. Because it's very slow. It's very, like, you got to be wired and hooked into it. Mm -hmm. But 
oh my god like every second is uncomfortable hell yeah that's what i look for in a movie like childhood fears afraid of the dark shit like it's intense <laughs> Okay, I'll watch it. But when you say like, yeah, they bore the shit out of me. Like this is such a, I, it's a, I it's like a it. fucking art film, kind of. It's I gonna like, be I like really that shit, slow. Though. Yeah, I do like films that are just like cinematography heavy and beautifully shot, but boring. I'm down with that. I mean, I don't know if it's good, it's good, but most of them are boring as fuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, most of them are boring. You know, it's not boring. This pod, <laughs> the best pod. <laughs> no, it's been good. Yeah. All right, should we call it? Yeah, sure. I just felt us lose steam. All right, we're done. Boom. All right, good night. Love you.